rather late, but um, I want to just do this really quickly. Um, and I wish I had writ wrote down some some information to kind of throw some numbers out there, but I I forgot the paper at work. Um, but I was talking to a friend of mine earlier. Well, not a friend of mine, just somebody I know. I was talking about. Uh, they were telling me about the whole thing that just happened in San Bernardino, and something that stuck out for me was that how they were saying, uh, you know, the uh, how they had all these bullets and and whatnot, and um, yet they only fired like sixty-seven or seventy-two bullets. And I think they hit like, what, uh, uh, 30 or 40 people, 30 or 40 some odd people. And, and it, they were saying about the ratio of that, like, as far as, you know, skill in shooting and the fact that uh, one of the weapons used might have been an assault rifle, which are usually used by people in the military or law enforcement. And so someone that is a novice or even just a regular person with no military training uh, could not have that good of an accuracy. Um, they had also stated that the police in the shootout, I guess, fired uh, 300 something odd bullets at two people. But again, they said he said that they only used they only just uh, c- recovered of 60 or 70 bullets from these two people um so um, basically he was saying that uh you have to kind of start thinking for yourself and i'm pretty sure there's a way on google to, to kind of put them numbers in when it comes to like uh you know shooting ranges anybody that's that's a, you know a marksman or uh you know some of these gun ranges and people that work there or i'm pretty sure there's some information out there with regards to if you plug them numbers in or you talk to somebody they'll tell you well you know you I you and I would not be able to take an AR-15 or whatever you know um, and only fire uh, you know <clears throat> with people running about and people are running and, and and moving moving targets and you're only you're not you're you, you you're wasting you're not wasting that many bullets you only have you know, 67 bullets that you wasted over, you know, 40 some odd people. So that would mean that that's like a 50 plus percent, over 50 percent accuracy, accuracy level. So I don't know, you guys, you got to start doing the math here. There's a lot of things, uh, you know, there's a big push for gun control, which I don't understand how more control of guns can you get unless you want to take the guns away. And and obviously the people who founded this country knew didn't trust each other that's why they broke that in the constitution that they would have a weapon people can be able to defend themselves and i don't think taking everybody's gun away is going to uh stop people from shooting each other stop, stop people from killing each other um it's not going to stop it's just going to drive it underground um just like with everything that has been outlawed from drugs, cocaine, marijuana, even in when alcohol was um, illegal uh, for those years, the abolitionary years, or whatever they called it, um, and you know, it, it drove it underground. But people still, it was a higher demand for it, and people it just drew, drove the price of that particular item up. So you're not going to stop, and you got to think about also too. Um, you know when they you know they want to pull up our crime statistics and things like that you know as far as guns on the streets in our streets a lot of them guns are not legal not registered so, you know um, 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 uh, there are a lot of them that are stolen per they say but i've heard stories over the years and i don't know why people just have amnesia i don't know what is wrong with people like my age older like i you know i remember hearing the stories about how and like i want to say in california like uh i don't know what city it was but i remember hearing vaguely about the fact that um a train car just full of guns stopped in the middle of a poor neighborhood or a, a, a mostly minority populated neighborhood full of guns you know 
we're not the people that black folks aren't the people that are bringing drugs in this country yet we are the ones getting you know 30 years 60 years for you know uh paraphernalia <laughs> you know so but anyway just think about it they're wanting to how how these incidences always circle around some type of something that they want to do some type of legislation or if they want to go to war with somebody i mean uh i remember before 9 11 you know and in the uh uh, first Iraq war and after that and you know and um, you know they had to you know their they their position uh, uh, um, their position on that and you know some of the talk prior to and then all of a sudden boom this happens so now they they have you know 9-11 happens and now they, they can just go up in there so um, you gotta you know and it's like people are very acting very naive as if this same body and war is money you make everybody that you know people are making money off of the bullets and everything so war is money however you shake down you know so it's it, lucrative you know and there are people among the one percent that can bankrupt whole nations and create wars okay so you know you have to start stop being naive that this country would not be above doing things like that you know um just start to go back in your archives and and think about when certain things wanted to be passed or you know cer certain you know things in the in the air you know as far as like out there in the news and you know in correlation to events start putting things together start thinking for yourself just start start thinking for yourself we start learning how the mind works they keep repeating things to you and telling you what to, it's called thought, um, what do they call it? Thought, uh, implantation. Okay. You can see, oh, you see a video of somebody, oh, it looks like that person's running and they say, oh, the man walking. And then all of a sudden you're like, you're walking. Well, maybe, maybe it was, what? no, no, don't let no, them tell you shit. Think for yourself. What did you see? What did you see? Put your, put, use this. This is what it's for. Stop drinking the water. You're making you stupid.